Oh, hey, it's me. Hey guys, I'm so sorry that I've been gone for like 10 million years. I did mention in a video or two ago that I bought a house and yeah, we did. <laughs> we actually are in the house with lots of pink wallpaper, as you can see. I have had no time to even breathe or think or move or do anything, let alone film a video. And I am so sorry. It's not like you guys are bottom priority for me, but at right now, um, first we had to move and it was very last minute and everything went crazy and um, I decided to be an idiot and I ripped out carpet and wallpaper and now I live in this construction zone of a house that is new to me yet I hate it because it's so messy and things are crazy but that's where I've been. I've been painting, I've been just getting my life together and right now is the time of year I was the most excited about and I've been waiting for it for an entire year because I wanted to do a shitload of Halloween tutorials. I was going to do 31 days of Halloween tutorials for you guys. Turns out I've, I've got zero. I don't have a minute to sit down. I mean, this I'm on my lunch break right now from work, so not only on the top of moving into this new house, but I'm working full time and it's just been crazy. And for any of you who can even see it, can you even see? Dyed my hair blue. But it's just been, it's been crazy in my life and I can keep saying that over and over. Or I could just say, I plan, I am so ready to come back to YouTube. I am so ready. This is actually my filming room that I'm in now. Yeah, I got a filming room. Bitch, please. So you can kind of see it is absolutely hideous. There is wallpaper, pink, everywhere. The ceilings are even damn wallpaper. This, this grandma house though. So as soon as I get things situated, um, I'm going to start ripping the shit off the walls and get this room painted. I just bought a vanity, which should be here soon. I'll get that set up. I'll get a lamp and I will start filming like a mofo. For now, I have no filming location. I'm sitting on an old dirty stool in a wallpapered room surrounded in boxes. So I thought, I would be like moved in and unpacked like right away and I had all these big plans and realistically I had no idea how big of a challenge it was going to be, how big of a move it was going to be. This house is fucking huge. I'm used to a living room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. That was it. Our last house was literally like a cottage. It was a cottage. This is a fucking house. This house is huge. It is two stories, a full basement, and we have a rental house as well. What? I don't even understand the, the vastness of this. I've never had this big of a house before. I've only ever lived in an apartment, a studio, or that tiny little cottage. So this house is like freakishly large for me. It's just an adjustment period and it's just, I, I can't even tell you guys. And so I have been, we went to Ikea, we got some furniture, so we're, get, we're getting in the middle of like setting up our living room because right now it's literally torn to shreds. I mean, the living room I finished painting, finished painting it completely, but you don't realize all the shit you don't have. God, this room's given me like magic eye. Do you guys remember magic eye? You know what's funny is a lot of people don't remember magic eye. Is that like, is that like a super old thing that like a lot of people don't know? Marie probably knows what magic eye is, right? I'm not even gonna go into it, just Google magic. I, either way, this house is just, it's beyond what I thought it was gonna be. There is wallpaper legit on every wall. Every wall, except for the living room, the dining room, and the entryway, which is all I've already painted. I've painted everything I basically can. Everything else is wallpaper. And you guys don't understand the amount of fucking, like my kitchen, I started tearing the wallpaper down and there was five layers. And it literally went from like, 30s like floral, 50s floral, it was like 70s sparkly orange floral, 80s orange and avocado green floral, and then it went to like kind of like 90s regular floral, which is what my kitchen is now. What the? Who? I can't even talk about it. So I started tearing half of that off and then realized we need to tear out the whole kitchen because the placement of the kitchen is really weird. You would have to see it. It's the kitchen's in the middle of the kitchen, like sticking out. You have to walk through like a foot and a half of space. I'm not complaining. These are all first world problems. Like my kitchen and my two story house is too small. I'm not gonna, 
I'm not going to complain about anything. All I'm saying is these are my excuses of why I have been missing from YouTube. And I've even been, I've been gone for so long that I've had multiple people ask me like, are you quitting YouTube? And the answer is no. The answer is I plan on getting even more into YouTube than I was before. I want to go back to my three video a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and I will. But as of now, I can barely get up a video a month. So I'm gonna try and make a serious effort to just at least pop on here and do some sort of videos. And I have so many videos in my head that I want planned, but fucking the month's already halfway over. I literally can't believe it. I can't believe it. I feel like uh, it's over and I don't get Halloween doing Horios. That's pretty much it, guys. I am just going crazy in this house and ripping out shit and getting stuff good, so. I'll be back soon for good. Um, I'll try and put up more videos. I'll try and not like disappear again for a while. So that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. I am about at 17,000 subscribers and I was like at 16 when I stopped f filming. So I got I gained a thousand subscribers without even doing anything. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm so sorry that you subscribed to my channel and then um, got no videos because that's really irritating and I hate it when I do that to people. I just unsubscribe from that shit. So thank you for not unsubscribing to me and thank you for watching. And um, that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys at my next video, which should be soon. All right. I love you guys. Bye.